been up to something rather interesting over the past week or two. Now, what I've got here is a Jetty DS24 radio. Now, these radios are, and I'm going to bring it in closer so you can see, these radios are utterly fantastic. They truly are a work of art. They premium kit, they can do just about anything you want, bar a few little minor niggles which come from the world of commercialism versus open source, but they're pretty bloody amazing. But um, there's something that they didn't do which really, really just annoyed me. So I felt I had to do something about this. And um, for those of you who fly with jetties, you'll notice I've got this big dangly antenna. And I'm going to show you at the back what I've done. I have got a crossfire on the back, which um, I guess might be why you've come to this channel anyway, because you've probably seen the title of it, which says Jetty plus Crossfire. But hey, how did I do it? Now, <clears throat> functionally, it's not actually that difficult to achieve. The great thing about a Jetty, the um, actual rear case around here is available as an aftermarket spare. So you can quite easily buy a new case, they cost 40 odd dollars or thereabouts, which is <laughs> jetty prices. But um, yeah, you can buy a new case and essentially fuse a JR module bay to the back of it. Now, let me put this down because it's getting a tad heavy. So I, I actually suggested this to jetty to one of their developers possibly it was easily six months ago and had absolutely no joy. Now, <laughs> the, the, the problem here is that Jetty provide a port inside the radio to wire in a PPM 16 RF module if you wanted or anything else you might. And they even kind enough to provide you with a power port attached to it. But it's actually not in their interests commercially to really give you the option of running anything else. And the reason is simple. This thing runs their own proprietary 2.4 gig system, and being the DS24, it's also got an integrated 900 megahertz system in it. But the problem is I've got 100 odd planes with um, Crossfire in it, so I wanted to do something different. And I've also got some planes with Free Sky in it. And this is where it starts to become a problem. So you can kind of see that Jetty didn't really want to support this feature. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, we have PPM 16 coming out of it. And you can wire into it very, very easily. So what I've done is I've just simply turned around and said, well, let me make a template, find the optimum position for a JR module bay, and I have designed a suitable bay to plug in. I've also provided a template for it. And the idea here is that you can simply place the template over the rear cover, mark out with some magic marker where to put the cuts in, do the cuts, drill four holes, and plug your 3D printed module holder into the back. It's really quite easy. Um, you know, the, the downside of this is that, let, let, let's be honest, this is, this is a premium radio. Look at that horrible 3D printing on the back. Now, I'm going to solve that, is that I'm waiting for them to arrive from 3D Print UK is some lovely nylon SLA versions, which will just look so much better when on the radio. And it kind of gives you what you want. So I've programmed my jetty to be identical to my radio master in terms of all the functions. I can plug a crossfire into the jetty if I'm going out flying with a jetty pop it in and everything just works. All the mixes, everything, it just does exactly the same job. If I'm flying a drone, a plane, I can kind of mix and match. And if I want to fly with my radio master, well, I just move the transmit module across to it, job done. Um, now, <laughs> the, the big caveats to all of this, not hard to do. However, the Jetty only runs on a 1S LiPo and you cannot upgrade it. If you try to put a 2S in there, you're going to have a problem. Now, if like me, you're running a Crossfire, Crossfire needs a minimum of 4 volts in order to run, and the 3 volts or so coming out, your lithium ion single cell battery ain't going to cut it. So I solved that quite simply as getting a Pololo 5 volt step up. And all it does is delivers a consistent 5 volts through to the RF module, and it works. Now, the RF module and Crossfire's sake, <coughs> sorry, so the RF module with a Crossfire, 
basically you you may want to do some calcs the maximum output the power supply inside the jetty can deliver is one amp i've not done the maths to it but i seldom actually fly crossfire beyond 25 milliwatts i'm well within it but like everything i guess it's no different to the tyrannus you ain't going to be plugging a great big high powered thing without putting your external crossfire module onto here and then what else what are the big downsides ah ppm 16 where's the telemetry there's no telemetry well the good news is because my module is talking crossfire to my drones my tracker can still bind to the module and i can get away with using the jetty fantastic that that solved a big problem but wouldn't it be nice if we could talk crossfire telemetry straight into the jetty well <laughs> I've begged and I've asked Jetty and typically, you know, well, it's commercial, they're not going to do it. However, however, what I did notice while playing on the Jetty is that they support an XBus stream, which is their own proprietary protocol, and they can deliver the XBus straight to that PPM port. Now, XBus is a two-way protocol to my understanding, and it's a high-speed serial similar to SBus, but also interlaces some telemetry information. So in the meantime, what I've done is I've had a chat with Trappy and all things being equal, they're going to get back to me with some stuff. And Trappy's actually expressed some interest in this. So we may actually see the Crossfire module supporting the jetty, which then opens up telemetry and all sorts of things like that. It will be utterly fantastic. Um, what else? I'm going to plug a link to the um, parts that I've designed up on Thingiverse. I am also in the chat with the guy who does... The clear covers for the back here, he's a chap in America and he does an aftermarket completely transparent cover. He's doing a version for me with a cutout pre-CNC'd in it. Once those are available, I'll let you guys know. And I guess maybe one day we'll actually see TBS just providing an aftermarket cover plug-in play instant crossfire solution. It would be pretty fantastic, wouldn't it? So there you have it. Can't go wrong. It works quite well. Cheers, guys.